Race number 15, Boost Mobile highlights. Let's go all the way back to the start of this one. And it was a very even drag race all the way to turn one. First, second, third, fourth, fifth gear on the run down here at Cole Tyres. Who was going to be the bravest under brakes? Actually all did a pretty good job of managing turn one. Typically it's pretty crazy down there, but they got in and out the other side largely unscathed. Not the case though when we got up to turn six. There was an awkward moment here between Di Pasquale and Kostecki. We don't really know, fully understand what's going on here, but what we do know, the outcome was costly for Brody. So that right front steering taking a big beating on his car, sufficient to put him back in the garage. They had to change the steering arm and they got him back out there because the aim of the game at that point was just to be able to get some points on the board and get 18 points out of it. Damage in the right rear corner and the Hino entry for Scott Pye. Here is Brody arriving. They took a quick assessment of it and decided to put it on the go jacks and get it into the garage so that more people could dive on it and get on top of the problem. Cat and mouse game as far as strategy was concerned this afternoon. This was a tiny bit awkward for Heimgartner because he had to go around the back of the crew and the hoses of Winterbottom's car. It cost him a tiny wee bit of time, but I don't think it was enough that was ever going to change the result between he and Jack LeBrock. He continued to stalk him all the way to the end. And then we dared to dream. Could this little team get up and slam it home to Goliath, to some of the big teams that are further back down the order today? And the answer was emphatically yes. They got the job done. And it's really two out of the three races this weekend where that's been the case. It was Team 18's turn yesterday. And today, Matt Stone Racing, Truck Assistant, Jack LeBrock, they close the deal with a margin just over one second and a sweet, sweet victory for Jack LeBrock.